Hey, Bamba, what's up, man? Hey, pretty good, man. How are you doing? So we're heading. All right. I am going to uh, town. All right, you good? Yeah. Town. All right, guys. I am with the one and only one, Bamba. Bamba, bless it, man. Yes, I am, man. Rastafari, man. Rastafari, man. Come on, come on. Bless it. Come on. All right. Give this, man. Exactly. One loaf here. This is a sign of this the Rastafari. Is, yeah, one loaf, man. The Trinity. One loaf. The Trinity. The Trinity. Yes, sir. Your mom, your dad, and you. Okay. You and your mom and your dad. Cool. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. All right. Hmm? How is your day going? Yeah, I'm good, man. You good? Yeah, yeah man. Okay, okay. Just been happy, you know. You know. Yeah, sure. Making some freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah, some freestyle African songs, you know, man. Would you like to share something with us? Yeah, man. You, we can go to the garden to have a good background. You see, you see the bananas right there. Okay, okay. Yeah, inside. Yeah. You're welcome. But I am heading to town. Yeah. So yeah. You're welcome, but you can just make a, a little bit fresh. Man. A little footage, yeah. yeah All right. All right. Uh, what's up, guys? Yeah. Welcome to another day yeah, the, in... Uh, welcome to Ulaba. Gambia. Ulaba. Ulaba. Okay. Ulaba. Yeah. yeah. So this is Barra, right? Yeah. We are in Barra right now. No, we are, oh, we are in Esso. Esso. Yeah, okay, okay. Here is Ulaba, Esso. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're welcome, my brother. Yeah, hey, wow. Appreciate, man. See? Yes, sir. You see, you, see you see the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and who is that? All right, I will tell you more, more, more about him. <laughs> Guys, I met... Bomba yesterday yep. in the shop. All right. So, guys, greetings. This is Gambia, SL, a place called Wolaba. So you can see this statue talking about Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. He was the black captive of the French colony in the year 1895, 20 September. He took a journey to the sea. He prays on the sea. He did a miracle. And you see the, the lion over there, you know, you see? You see the lion? Yep. Lion spoke to the blacks, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. There was a follower called Sheikh Ibrahim, the founder of Bivalism, talking about the oneness of God, like the oneness of God, the existence of God, how God exists within the universe. So when Sheikh Ibrahim, the Bifal man, met Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, he told him that I have followed the footstep of God up to your yard. If I told you, you can show me the road to salvation. If not, I will call you the at the, the Lord of Lords and the Conquering Lion. Remember, he's the unconquerable. All the Africans captive been conquered by the colonies, colonial power. But he's the black who take a journey to the sea and come back to Tuba, found the promised land and liberate people. He called on righteousness, oneness of the Maasai by the name of Ahmed Bamba. And I'm a singer, a musician, a vocal musician who talking about Sheikh Ahmed Bamba too. My first song was a featured song by Sons of Light, Abdul Samad Hakim, Abdul Samad Bilal from California. Yeah, by the group called Sons of Light. We sing a song called When the feelings and the healings have reached me to the ceiling, I will say, my Bamba, Bamba, the prayers that you pray on the sea make us stronger. It was putting in the fire, burning our desire. When the guiding light is shining brighter, you say, Ibra. Say Ibra, when a grandma looks down to my east, she wouldn't know the feeling is real. Just make it stronger, stronger. Give us the light, Allah. Give us the light. That was the name of the song. Yeah, give us the light, featured by Sons of Light, Hakim and Bilal. That was like uh, 24 years ago now. And uh, later, I make another song called One Blood Call, talking about Say Amadou Bamba still. That one blood call is the name of a call. When the black man calling, man, I run that true call. Down the promised land where the fire stand tall. Adim Bamba say he brought the light of the wall. You know, black people have to rebel and honor their soul. Search for salvation, you know. Cannot all those shining glitters are gold. You know, Adim Bamba, the way to salvation. Yeah, talking to the world. Just Bamba J, you know, focusing on Wolava, you know. Yeah, this is Wolava. Guys, that was very unexpected. So, yesterday, while I was going to the shop, I met Bamba, we spoke, and this morning, on my way to Banjul, I met him again. And he gave me a little tour of where he is living. Such a character. So, from here, I will be heading to Bara to catch the ferry on my way to Banjul. Let's go! This morning, guys, the weather very chilly you know and uh, I found it very enjoyable because those past uh, few days it was 
very very hot so now like you can see it's a little bit cloudy the idea for today is very simple i would like as always to take you around different parts of uh, Banjul, the capital city of the country and also i will be taking you to saragonda which is the second largest uh, city after Banjul, and they are not really far from each other i think only uh, 20 minutes between those two cities so uh, well this is what i will be doing today and uh, welcome to uh, another day in uh, Gambia I am now trying to find a boat on my way to uh, Banjul uh, like you can see I have to take a small embarkation anyway guys it's very intense to record here in uh, Gambia sometimes not all the time but sometimes people are not feeling very comfortable when someone is recording anyway just doing my stuff and it's all good guys look how intense it is yes hi good morning it is very unorganized you know i'm telling you so this is where people are waiting to uh, catch the ferry but apparently there is no ferry guys so i am not sure how long we have uh, to wait so like you can see it is very difficult to get to the boat as I need to uh, go with someone. Shit. No way. This is very intense, guys. I'm telling you. I made it to the boat. I am uh, going to record in a smart way because uh, I don't want to get into any trouble. Then go along with the Okay, okay. Now, come, come, come. Yeah, Big man. I <laughs> Very big job. I got you, I got you. Thank you very much, Mr. Anthony. I am Kebatebe from Nemokebe in Gambia. But I would like to tell you the problem of Gambia because Gambia, we are all, all, all surviving. Because you all know Gambia is a poor country. We are just managing, but Gambia is not good. People are working every day, dying here for this small, using this small boat to go into a bank. But actually, we cannot achieve our targets. We are all educated and we are here with our documents, we don't have nothing. Either government are not employing people, government are not helping people. You see today there is no ferry, we just come with small boats and this is not safe. I know people with people like all us, if they see this video, if they see people are moving this way, they will like they we would like to help and we need help, need help. Because we are just managing here in the ports, people are here in the cell phone market, binding market, and we are all youths, we are all young, we don't have nothing else. We like people who can help us. Here is Gambia. Gambia, we have a lot of things, a lot of problems. Like the way we used to feed our children and our parents. Everything are costly in Gambia. Things like use it. Whatever you eat here, you must buy it. If you don't buy anything, you don't you will not eat, you will not drink. If it is no water, you store, you store drink, you must buy it. And everything is costly. 
we don't have nothing to say. We do, we are just asking for the need of help. Who can help? Because Gambia, we are we are all all Gambia. We all know Africa are not that much rich. We are all poor. We are we are we are living poverty life actually. And so, Mr. Anthony, we are just asking for the next one. If any person who can help or any any party person who have anything for us, please and please, we are just appealing to help. Because here is Banyu. I come with Anthony now. We just live in Banyu, Tapex. We are moving to Serapu now, and I want everything and everybody to know what is Gambia. Anthony will show you a lot in Gambia. Maybe you will not take all, but you will take some parts in Gambia, inshallah. So who can help us to do our movies? Because we have a lot to do. Okay, okay, okay. We have a lot to do, and they are very talented, but they don't have any background. Really? Yeah, they don't have any background. Even YouTube channel, we don't have it. We don't have it. You don't have what? We don't have it. Why? I now made it to the downtown of Banjul the capital city of Gambia and uh, from here I am going to take you all the way to the edge of the town you will see the city is not too big and from there I am going to catch a bus on my way to Saracunda which is the second largest city in Gambia and they are very nearby so I just met this nice man I don't even remember his name but he was really friendly and uh, he told me that the situation here in Gambia unfortunately is very difficult as people earn only $10 a day so this is nothing you know I am not really sure how many uh, people live in uh, Banjul but uh, I think there is more people living in Saracunda. Uh, like you can see, the streets are very quiet and uh, you know, it's very calm and organized. I am now going to get a breakfast and uh, from there I also have to put some uh, credit on my phone. Welcome to Banjul, the capital city of Gambia. The other day, I met a girl from uh, Freetown, Sierra Leone, and uh, also, like a couple of days ago, I met someone from Nigeria. So, uh, here in Gambia, there is a lot of people coming from uh, different countries. I guess the situation here in Gambia is a little bit better than uh, other countries in West Africa. This is why many uh, foreigners are here. I feel that the downtown today is a little bit quiet. I am not sure why. I uh, came here a few days ago and it was like more alive. But today it seems to be very quiet. Uh, Sorry? I'm in bed. Uh, 100. I am now buying data for my phone service. And uh, I am in a local shop. C'est bon? It's good? Alright. Thank you, boss. So, I got myself some uh, data I am now heading to Serifunda so you can see that the students are also hitchhiking but uh, like I said Serifunda is not too far away from here so this is the outskirts of uh, Benjul and uh, this is where I am going to uh, catch a bus on my way to Saragunda. I feel like when a country is poor there is also a lack of education because you know people behave in a different way so like I said the students are hitchhiking a ride on their way to the next uh, town I guess Thank you boss
Westfield, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, well, this is like the public transportation in uh, Gambia. And uh, <laughs> we are now going to Westfield. I've been asking many people where is the embassy of Guinea-Bissau and nobody seemed to know. This is crazy, I am telling you. People have been living here their whole life, but they don't know where is the embassy of Guinea-Bissau. So, well, let's find it. I feel sometimes people can be very lazy, you know? Just to get some information is like asking the whole world. Boss, I am going to the embassy of Guinea-Bissau. I am going to the embassy of Guinea-Bissau. Embassy of Guinea-Bissau? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't know it? Well, I am looking for. Looking for? Yeah. I am taking video. Why? Believe me guys, traveling in Africa is also facing a bunch of uh, stigmatized, you know, because well, I think this is everywhere on earth. People judge you on how you look. If you have dreadlocks or if you have a cab, you know, like people are going to judge you. This is very uh, tiring. I am done for today. I am done for today. I gonna have to come back tomorrow to uh, pay for my visa. So between Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry, I spent 160 US dollars. Guys, it is very, very expensive, you know? And uh, this is only the beginning because as I will be making my way to the west and more visa I'm gonna have to pay but uh, it's all good you know I was prepared I am happy because I am all set for today I am now going to take you to Senegambia which is the touristic area of uh, Gambia and then I will make my way back to uh, Barra guys I made it to the beach Senegambia. I am a little bit exhausted to be honest as the whole day I was trying to uh, figure out my visa for uh, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry so uh, tomorrow I am going to uh, come back here and explore more there is a lot of tourists you know that is for sure <laughs> 